Hello, my beautiful people. Today we ask the question, who has a crush on you? So we're going to start. At, uh, we have three piles. One, two, and three. I'll give you a second to choose. And then we are going to start on the first pile. All right, hi, pile number one. Let's see who has a crush on you. So I'm going to start with the Spellcaster's Tarot. I'm going to pull some charms today. I'm probably going to also use the Crow Tarot. Who has a crush on you? Who has a crush on pile number one? Who has a crush on pile number one? Who has a crush on our beautiful and talented pile number one? Okay. All right, pile number one. All right. Somebody really, really has the hots for you. They want a brand new beginning, a truthful beginning. Um, so they're really very much into honesty. Um, so they are coming up as the Queen of Cups. So if you're... Uh, if that's not your preferred uh, gender, that doesn't matter. Uh, that's only how they're repre uh, representing. That does not necessarily mean that it's a female, but if you're looking for a female, you have a beautiful and caring, uh, emotional, like really nurturing and thoughtful person who's into, uh, who's into you. And... Um, they would like to send you a message. They want to speak with you. Now, this is a, a, a card indicating a new beginning, so it may not be somebody that you've had uh, been in a relationship with before, which is good for a lot of you. You're like, not again. <laughs> um, However, uh, somebody could be coming back, but having, you know gained more emotional maturity let's learn more about pile number one's uh, the person who has a crush on pile number one tell us about this person who has a crush on pile number one i will say it looks like this person already knows you but may not know you very well yet for a lot of you, they don't know you very well yet. However, um, they're a very caring, attractive, nurturing person. Whether or not they're male or female. Uh, and uh, definitely emotionally available. All right. Took a the I got from the crow tear I got the two of pentacles. So they're seeking balance. Or are they juggling a lot of things right now? Some of them are juggling a lot of things. Other people are just seeking balance. I really got a really quick hit of the third, of the three of cups, which means that they could be a friend. Um, and they could be in another relationship. So that's less than ideal.
Tell me about the person who has a crush on pile number one. Please clarify. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Swords. Okay. They know that you won't take anything but honesty. So they want to come forward with honesty for you. Because otherwise they know that you won't give them the time of day. Please clarify the queen of cups. Now, I know that I, I said that for some of you this is a new connection, but for some of you this is an old connection where um, you may have made an offer to them before and they acted uninterested. Okay. So you were affectionate towards them and they, you know, acted uninterested in that. Um, it doesn't look like they were telling the truth. So they want to come forward with the truth because they know that that's their only chance with you because they do feel a great deal of love for you. Um, but in the past, um, they didn't take the chance with you. Maybe that's why balance is here. Because this hasn't been balanced in the past. There has been a historic lack of balance. Page of Wands. Please clarify the Page of Wands. But if this is a new connection, this is a new connection. Uh, for some of you, this is a new connection. So for the people who are, this is a new connection and not somebody coming back around, um, they may be afraid that you'll reject them. Yeah, they're afraid that if they're caring towards you, that you'll reject them. And they do also, it, it's still true that they know that they have to come with you. They can tell that... Uh, that you will protect yourself and you have clear boundaries. Um, uh, you probably, uh, uh, which is probably from having painful experiences in the past. So they know that they have to be honest and straightforward for either somebody who's coming in new or from the past. Now, the Page of Wands is being clarified by the King of Pentacles. So this person who uh, has a crush on you is also the King of Pentacles. And actually, some of you might have more than one person who has a crush on you, but... It's just one. Uh, so if, if you feel like more than one pile is appropriate for you, maybe you're just popular. <laughs> um, but um, they want to communicate to you that they're steady and that they're stable and that they'd like a commun uh, that they'd like a commitment with you because the... Um, King of Pentacles, uh, as long as he's in his um, in his higher vibration, is somebody who wants somebody uh, wants somebody uh, wants commitment, wants stability, wants uh, you know abundance. So they want to uh, say that hey, I uh, you know I'll be able to give you you know 
consistency and abundance and you know so let's ask so we know a little bit about this person now so they do have very deep feelings for you they know that they have to come to you truthfully and they uh, and they want to come forward they want to come forward uh, and show you that they're somebody who is abundant and stable and somebody you want to be with somebody that will you know make your life better not and balance it so this person in your life right now okay like i said a lot of you this person is coming back this is a rebirth this is judgment they've uh Often judgment comes along when something hasn't been balanced in the past. And now they're dealing with the karma and consequences of that. So while this could be, for some people, uh, a new person, for most of you this is somebody who has been in your life before, who may be, uh, who didn't offer you affection in the past it looks like they uh, how did you feel about this person for those of you who this is somebody coming back in the past how did you feel about this person Because it looks like there was some kind of offer. Okay, in the past, you sought... Uh, this is a star you saw it balance you saw hope in this connection you wanted to heal this connection and you you probably felt like this connection was meant to be and you did everything you could with everything you had to try to make this happen However, this left you anxious and in grief. And probably because your, off, uh, your offer of affection um, was denied. They, whether they had feelings for you for, uh, or not, they treated you as if they did not. And that caused you to cut off from them. Yeah. For, for anybody who's so a lot of people in this pile are, are, are definitely this is somebody who's coming back around again now as we saw it is somebody who does love you and they want to be emotionally available because the queen of cups is emotionally available much more so than the king of cups all oh, the king of cups uh because the queen of cups would be willing to actually tell you 
and the King of Cups often doesn't. So maybe they have been um, holding back that in the past. But uh, they want a brand new beginning with you. And they know they have to be emotionally available to make that happen. Okay. So I got two cards from the Cosmic Reading deck. Um, they just both fell out. So I've got Let Go and Hope. Now it is interesting that you got Hope because the star is also a representation of Hope. Should you let go of this person? You've got the King of Wands. Let me get a little bit more clarification on that. Should you let go of the King of Wands? It looks like um, your person wants to let go of all the baggage of the past. and have a passionate beginning with you. So, you had uh, cups, swords, wands, and pentacles come out, uh, all of them. So this, this person has done a lot of balancing out. I think that it, however, it required you to let go. Yeah, you had to let go of them um, because otherwise they were just going to keep doing what they were doing. So uh, after you did let go of them, they realized that you had probably been right the whole time and that... Um, that they made the wrong move by not taking your offer of affection. Yeah, not letting you know that they cared. So they want to come back and they want to make it very clear that they care. Now for somebody who who is watching this deck and they're like, uh, I don't think that's for me because I don't have anybody in my past like that, then there is hope for somebody who's coming forward and, and going to make a move towards you. Or you're going to make a move towards, I think, make a move. They're going to make a move towards you. Yeah, they're going to make a move towards you. But you need to, like, you know, not be obsessed about finding somebody for this let go card and just uh, stay in hope. So I'm going to get some charms. Pile number one person. I mean, so pile number one person. Pile number one. Who's pile number one crush? Who has a crush on pile number one? Who has a crush on pile number one? Who has a crush on pile number one? Okay, uh, I got the rat. Um, so maybe there's been dishonest behavior in the past. Yes, there has been dishonest behavior in the past. Um, I've got um, a little jewel. It means uh, that there is there is abundance here, like there um, there uh, there is abundance, and there's also a transition. Here's a door. So and and the door is magnetic. So what's attached to the door is it's a boy. So um, for most of you, even though the Queen of uh, Cups came up, um, it may uh, it's. Uh, the person is male or uh, or male identifying 
not for potentially not for all of you, but uh, but for most of you, um, that uh, that um, the queen was coming up because of the extra level of emotional availability that they know that that they that both you deserve and that they have in their heart for you. So a transition is happening. There's been dishonesty in the past, and I feel it is in the past because there's a door as a transition. You guys make each other, this is kind of a pie. You guys, uh, at least when things were good, you guys make each other feel very comfortable. Like, not in a non-sexy way, but in a, um, in a way that you could talk to them forever. But they see you as, well, uh, as the crown. So they see you as, as, you know, somebody that is the best. They don't see anybody that is better than you. Uh, and the cat came up. So, I mean, there might have been some, you know, hot and cold inconsistent energy. As in, you know really affectionate one moment and uh you know want you to leave them alone the other and you guys are really connected so and uh the sakura well the sakura uh, that she can't see because I'm holding it, but uh, that came out. So you guys could have some um, affinity with Japan, or you could, um, I mean, uh, that could be either of you guys' ethnicities, places that you've traveled, that, or, or just this is a, is about newness and regeneration. It's, it's a sign of spring. So thank you so much, pile number one. Hopefully this resonated with you. And if it did, um, hopefully you want to see this person back. So, uh, but if it didn't resonate, we have other piles. If more than one pile resonated with you, feel free. Uh, watch on because you could be just really popular as I've said before. And I'm going to move on to uh, the next pile, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. Uh, and if you want a personal reading, I do that too. <laughs> thank you. And you guys, I hope everybody in your life is happy, healthy, and safe. All right, pile number two. Okay, pile number two. To make it a little bit <laughs> who is your uh, who has a crush on you hello my beautiful pile number two see who has a crush on you this is my rhymey pile apparently so pile number two who has a crush on you Pile number two, who has a crush? Pile number two, who has a crush on you? Pile number two, who has a crush on you? So for a pile number two, so some of you, the person who has a crush on you either works with you, um, goes to the same school, for some of you they go to the same school, um, 
if they don't work for you, if they don't go to the same school, like, like you collaborate well, like you maybe have done a project together. But they see how well you work together. Um, currently, they are watching and getting as much information about you as possible. They could be checking out your social media. They could be asking people about you. Um, they may be talking to you, but they might just be talking to you about not particularly emotional things. Yeah, some of you, they might be occasionally talking to you, but mostly about non-emotional things. And the Seven of Cups. So, they fantasize about you a lot. So, this person might not know you too well yet. Um, I mean, even if they work with you, um, they they go uh, because they're still just trying to get a lot uh, as much information as they can they have a lot of fantasies about you they wonder what you're go uh, what what you're like to, uh, so please clar clarify the seven of cups Okay, they've come to some realization about you. So, they fantasize about you a lot, but they they might have uh, realized that, you know, maybe they had more ideas about you rather than knew you in the past. Yeah, so they might have... Um, not particularly known you in the past but had ideas about you but they have been getting information and they have like had a revelation about like who you are as a person and it's more about who you actually are in outside of just a fantasy okay clarify the page of swords So the Page of Swords is clarified by the Five of Swords, which I'm going to get further clarification on because they could have found out that you've gone through a lot of difficulty in the past. Yeah. Let's make sure this person doesn't want to cause you any difficulty, though. Do they intend you any harm? Um, they found out that you've gone through difficulty in the past and that's, uh, and the emperor came out. So they actually, they kind of want to take care of you. Okay. Three of pentacles. Clarify the three of pentacles. So there's been a tower moment. Now a tower moment uh, can be a sudden revelation and as I've said, they've had revelations about you already um, and maybe their first impression of you was terribly wrong. And it's possible that in the past they didn't have the best intentions for you. But currently, they want to look out for you. And they realize I mean, this has all caused a lot of anxiety. Okay.
So I'm going to clarify with the Crow Tarot. I was just using the um, Spellcaster's Tarot. What are those person's intentions towards you? this person's current intentions towards you. What are this person's current intentions towards you? What are this person's current intentions towards you? Okay, so this is the wounded warrior. So, um, at first, I, uh, I needed uh, to see whether they were, you know, defensive against you, but I think they want to defend you. And they're coming on as the King of Cups because they care about you. And they're coming in with, uh, as the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who has a plan, somebody who's going to give you a concrete offer. Often they're, well, they're the slowest to come forward because they're only going to come forward with a plan and a concrete offer. This person sees you as somebody that they want to protect. They see you as somebody who needs protection. So this person wants to be your knight in shining armor. Yeah, I definitely got a confirmation on that. But they are coming in as a uh, as mature and in control. And then uh, taking a card from the cosmic reading card deck. So this person coming forward with uh, integrity. So they know that you've been hurt in the past. They know that you haven't been treated right. Uh, and they want to be the person to treat you well. Um, they, they maybe witness a situation that you haven't been treated right. And they actually want to fix things. So I'm going to get you some charms. Tell me about the person who has a crush on group number two. All right, I dropped two things. So a drop to the floor was um, Staff of Hermes, which uh, this can also have for like a Kundalini rising. Um, but I think in this case, they want to heal. They want to heal you. And the, the dragon charm came up. 
So they, um, they will protect you ferociously. They want, uh, there's a cowboy hat, so I, uh, I think that they, you know, maybe think of themselves as, as a, uh, you know, the good guy in a, uh, in a Western coming and protecting your honor. I have a warm and f uh, a f uh, a velvet covered heart, so this is uh, you make their heart feel warm and fuzzy. They uh, this is my lettuce charm. It it looks like you know they feel like this would be healthy. And I've got gear, so they want to work together for something greater. So, it looks like this person is a very strong person. It looks like this person is somebody who has good intentions for you. Yeah, this person has very good intentions for you. Um, sees you as a gem, because this came up too. And, uh, will do whatever they have to do to protect you like they feel like that you are in need of protection and they are willing to get on their white uh their white uh, horse and come in and take care of you so however uh so for pile number two you have somebody who wants to be your knight in shining armor so if this doesn't resonate with you, then feel free to pick one of the other piles or uh, you can pick one of my new other readings. But no matter what, I just want to say thank you for um, checking out my, uh, for watching this, for, you know, being here. And I hope that everybody in your life is healthy, safe, and happy. And if you do help, uh, subscribe or like or, uh, you know, share it, I'd be incredibly grateful. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we are going to move on to pile number three. Hello, pile number three. You awesome, terribly attractive people. Let's see who has a crush on you. All right, who has a crush on pile number three? Who has a crush on pile number three? Who has a crush on pile number three? All right. Who has a crush on pile number three? Who has a crush on pile number three? Who has a crush on pile number three? number three so this uh this person you have a crush on has excuse me who has a crush on you but maybe you have a crush on them too maybe that way uh, that's why it came out this person who has a crush on you is financially stable and really independent um this uh yeah, they, they t uh, they're a very independent person. They want a new beginning with you, and they want you know, there to be good communication. They want it to be truthful. And they really need a truthful um, beginning. 
because they're moving on from maybe a tough relationship. Yeah. This is somebody who is an independent person who wants, you know, a, 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 who wants a relationship that's full of integrity and honesty and, and good communication. Um, and they're currently getting, uh, they're moving on from situations that were very painful. So this person might have some healing to do. So pile number three. Tell me more about this person. Let's clarify with the Crow Tarot. I just took the first three cards from the Spellcaster's Tarot. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this person might be staying single for right now yeah this person's staying single for right now because they're trying to come about to a new way of seeing things like they need a different perspective uh the hanged man came out is this a new person or is this somebody coming back from the past it's not telling me either way for so for some of you this is but the new beginning is is real so to clarify the knight of swords oh excuse me the ace of swords we have the knight of swords Now, the Knight of Swords uh, is somebody who comes in very fast, comes out very fast. Um, so this person might not have the most consistent energy with you. Yeah, this person doesn't act consistently with you. So you might be not sure that they're interested because they'll, they'll come in and communicate real quick and then they're gone. Yeah. Um, they want a new beginning, but I don't, uh, and they're in the process of moving on from something that wasn't healthy. So this person likes you, but let's clarify the six of swords. So they really want a new beginning. You have the the Ace of Cups and you have the Ace of Swords. So they do want to uh, to start over. They want, you know, overflowing love and they want truth, honesty, integrity, good communication. But it looks like there's still healing and that's causing them to be a little inconsistent with you. Yes, they're being inconsistent with you and um, 
because their holding back it makes them think uh, it makes them appear that they do not want a relationship and they really do want a new beginning like they want a new beginning uh, but it looks like it might take a little bit of time because this person is moving on but Let's see if you can trust them. Because they have, it looks like they do have strong feelings. But. Can you trust this person? Pile three, can you trust this person? I've got passionate new beginning. Um, so, um, which could mean that they want to start things passionate with you, but they also see you as just a brand new start. They have extraordinarily high hopes. They think that you might be a dream come true. Actually, they think you're a dream come true. <clears throat> Let's get um, some knowledge from the cosmic reading deck. I've got believe. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what it says. So, um, saying that it's safe to believe in this connection, um, but this person uh, needs to heal. Uh, however, they see you as a brand new beginning. Uh, and it's got, and it's a significant uh, soul tie. You can't have that many aces and it not be, that was three of the four aces in the deck. They know that you're something extraordinarily special. They just need to be healed enough. So I'm pulling some charms for you. Oops, and then I'm dropping some charms for you. So I get a, a little band that says love. Now I have death and resurrection. and resurrection and wisdom there's a owl bead and uh, I also got a charm that says believe so that is actually being double conf uh, double confirmed you absolutely can believe in this connection uh, it is uh, it is resurrecting so if you had a relationship in the past, it might have stopped. You might have had no communication, but it is currently resurrecting and, and, and becoming new again. Now I've got a daisy. So it's just, you know, something playful. Uh, uh, they, uh, they see you as playful and fun. 
I also think that they are playful and fun themselves. My little dinosaur came out. And um, I have a little jade of something that, I mean, uh, does look a little Freudian. So they, uh, they definitely want a passionate new beginning with you. They are definitely interested. Now I have like a little Celtic knot. So they feel tied to you. They want to work together with you, and they also feel, again, tied to you. You feel like comfort. I don't know if they wear like a, a um, like kind of a, um, I want to say Ked, <laughs> but, uh, 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 but these are, uh, you know, if this is kind of shoes that either of you wear or they just want to, they, they want to take steps towards you. And the, the a little um, Sakura came out again. Uh, it did for another pile. Um, so you guys, you know, might, you know, really enjoy uh well sakura is like renewal like spring but it's also um a cla uh, the the flower of japan so like you uh, guys might have a strong relationship with japan also you might have a strong relationship with egypt i have a scarab and uh, and uh tutankhamun <laughs> but you guys like they feel playful with you they feel like you're a smart choice they feel really connected to you like twice really connected to you they are really interested in you sexually um and they they really believe in this connection and they they're coming out of um, something that needed to end, but uh, th they are extraordinarily excited for you. So I think they are just finishing their healing before they come forward. They're extraordinarily excited about coming forward and they might have been a little bit inconsistent uh coming and going because they just weren't healed yet so thank you so much hopefully this pile resonated with you and if it didn't you could try one of my other piles you can try one of my other readings you know try several of these piles because you know maybe you're just that attractive i i don't know but I just want to say thank you. Um, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I would, you know, I'd appreciate it. And if you want a personal reading, I do those as well. I uh, think uh, so. I hope everybody in your uh, family and your life and yourself is uh, healthy, safe, and happy. Thank you again.